I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a robot to sail her by. You've probably heard a legend or two about mysterious ships sailing through foggy waters without a single soul on board. Sailors had plenty of stories about them, from the Flying Dutchman to other less notable phantom ships. But in a few years, these won't be legends. They'll be common. They'll be autonomous ships. And we won't have long to wait. In 2020, an autonomous cargo ship called the Yara Birkeland will guide itself along a predetermined route. So what's going on here? According to the US Coast Guard, more than 95% of all marine casualties are the result of human error. That's a sobering statistic. The sea is dangerous all on its own, but there are complicating factors making it much more so, such as political instability and piracy. Add to that another troubling fact, there just aren't as many experienced sailors out there as there used to be. Then there are the economic and environmental costs of human crews. An article on Bloomberg cites a consultant who says, up to 44% of the costs of operating a ship are related to its crew. That includes basic stuff like salaries, as well as the equipment needed to keep humans alive and comfortable while aboard a ship. And that extra equipment adds weight which means the ship has to work harder to move cargo across the ocean. That means the ships generate more greenhouse gas emissions. If you could reduce that weight, you could also reduce emissions. All of this means it's getting more challenging to ship materials across the ocean safely and economically. Autonomous ships are a necessity, not only to move stuff from place to place, but to cut down on the potential for the loss of human life and damage to the environment. The Yara Birkeland will haul fertilizer. Yara ASA is a fertilizer manufacturing company. Yara executives have brokered a partnership with a technology firm called Kongsberg Gruppen ASA to create the autonomous ship. The ship itself should be seaworthy by 2018, but then human crews will serve aboard the ship for two years before they take the training, uh, water wings off the autonomous ship. The Yara Birkeland is just one example of how the shipping industry is trying to embrace autonomous technology. There's an enormous research project called the Maritime Unmanned Navigation Through Intelligence in Networks, or MUNIN, that is exploring the feasibility of autonomous ships. There are still a lot of challenges to overcome. Autonomous ships will need extensive testing to make sure the sensors and systems perform properly in all sorts of sea conditions. They need to be consistent and dependable. And then there's the legal side of the situation. Right now, the International Maritime Organization, which is an arm of the United Nations, forbids crewless operations on the seas. It may take some time to satisfy regulatory agencies that an autonomous ship can operate as well as or better than a crewed vessel. We're already seeing some movement on that front. Believe it or not, there's a symposium called the Autonomous Ship Technology Symposium in the Netherlands. Representatives from companies and governments will meet and discuss strategies to solve technical and legal challenges in order to make autonomous shipping a reality. My guess is that it's just a matter of time before we have enormous unmanned barges hauling freight from shore to shore. And if it means keeping people safe while also bringing down costs, lowering prices, and decreasing the environmental impact, I'm all for it. But here's my question for you. What do you think will be the first industry to see a wide implementation of autonomous vehicles? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button down there, would you? And of course, join our forward-thinking think tank by subscribing to the channel. See you in the future.